the frame is not centered at all. Hi there guys and girls, my name is Dan from GeekChronicles.ro and today I present to you a new clip. In today's clip I want to discuss about the perfect machine to run Home Assistant on. Let's start from the beginning. I first started my journey with Home Assistant a few years back and back then I've used a Raspberry Pi, the Model 3 I guess it was, Revision B, something like that. That didn't run well at all. Because of the low read and write speeds of the SD card, my Home Assistant instance will more often than not crash, freeze. After a few months of frustration, I've decided to migrate to a different type of machine. And because at the beginning of 2022, I guess, because I have somewhat of a limited budget, I've started to look at secondhand computers, more precisely at decommissioned tiny computers that were used mainly by businesses across Europe for different applications. So I bought an HP T630. It had a quad-core AMD CPU, 4 gigs of RAM, 2 M.2 slots, one SATA slot for a 2.5 inch drive and a ton of USBs. This ran without any problems Home Assistant inside of Docker, but as I started to add more and more applications and services to my Docker instance, I needed an upgrade. So, as of now, I'm running Home Assistant on a HP 705G3, but why this model? Firstly, because it was relatively affordable. I paid for it like 120 to 130 euros, something like that. It has a newer generation quad-core AMD CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, one 2.5-inch SSD, two M.2 slots for future expansion, some display port outputs, and again, a lot of USB ports. Not only that this tiny computer has a lot of ports that you can interface with it, but also it's like five times or so faster than a Raspberry Pi 4. To be honest, all this processing power is a little bit unnecessary, but because I'm running Home Assistant inside of Docker, and most certainly in the near future I will add more and more containers to it, I really don't want the Home Assistant performance to dip just because of that. Besides, in IT, it's always great to have a little bit more headroom than no headroom at all. It's really hot in here. But I will say something. I got this tiny computer because at the time it was really cheap and it offered me everything that I needed in terms of expansion and ports. But if I have to choose again, will I still choose this tiny computer? The answer is no. The problem with this AMD chip and also these ones is that they get really hot. They do not consume a lot of power in idle, but they really do get hot. That's not really a problem, let's say, because they are way below the maximum TDP, but too many buts here. If you are interested in a more silent computer, this won't be it. In my case, I have the computer in the hallway, so it doesn't bother me at all. If you stand next to it, it can get at times a little bit loud. That's why if you now are looking to get a second-hand tiny computer from decommissioned hardware, my advice to you is to go with the Intel CPU, 6th or 7th generation, and the Model T CPU. Because the T-branded CPUs from Intel use only around 35 watts of power. And for Home Assistant or other small projects that you will have, it will be more than enough processing power and also the Intel CPUs don't get that loud. So that's a plus in my book. Now, please leave in the comment section below what do you think is the best computer or system to run Home Assistant on? I'm really interested to read all of your comments. Leave them below. That's about it for today. Subscribe if you're looking forward to see more clips with me. And if you like the video, leave a like. Or if you don't like it, a dislike.